And she's smoking still. We're about melting them off. We're going to send old girl to get rebuilt. Welcome yeah. back to the channel, everybody. Before we jump into today's Will It Start, I want to thank our sponsor, Lane Finder. Lane Finder is an amazing app that helps truck drivers like you and myself with a Class A CDL finding jobs in pretty much every trade there is in truck driving world. From flatbedding, reefer hauling, drive-ins, literally anything. If you have a commercial driver's license, download the app, Lane Finder, link in the description below. These guys will help you find a job today. No more waiting to get paid from people and employers that have been stringing you out for 30, 45, even 120 days. You get paid when you're supposed to be paid when you're working with the company Lane Finder. They're amazing, they're great people, they're super easy to deal with, and they just have amazing customer support. So go check them out, Lane Finder in the description below. All the information you need, go find yourself a CDL truck driving job today with Lane Finder, guys. Let's jump into this, will it start? Welcome back everybody for another Will It Start. Um, we're following up my latest video where we went out and gave some cash to some truckers for fuel. I hope you all enjoyed that. Didn't get the views I was hoping for, but hey, we, we uh, made some people's day. So we've got a 359 Pete here. This is an old log truck that was rolled over. We'll do a little bit of walk around here in just a second, but we're gonna try to get this thing started. Uh, we're up here at um, the Jaeger's place here where he did a lot of will it starts. They said that he doesn't really know the background on this or even if it will start. So we're gonna find out, but check that out. Right here next to us is an old needle nose Peterbilt. 51 model, I think is what they said it was. Aluminum frame, old school right there. She's a little too far gone though. So let's check this thing out. So it looks like that hood latch is already taken loose. We should, should have wore jeans today. That's for dang sure. I don't know about the other side. Yep. Maybe I can pick this up and move it. Let's do that first. Yep, should have wore jeans. I know better. I know better than that too. You see an engine yet? Does it have one in it? No, that would be a Cummins. These babies always fire. <sighs> well, now you gotta find the batteries. <laughs> oh boy. This is a one air cleaner truck too, so this is a pretty much of a base model truck. Now I gotta find our way to the other side. There's really not much we're gonna do. I guess we can go ahead and check go ahead and check the oil here. Uh, it's got some on the tip. But not much in it. That could be good and bad. I don't know. Yeah, it's getting a tiny bit on the dipstick, so we don't want to run it too long, but at least it's got some in it, I guess. I'm gonna make it through the jungle without getting my legs all tore up by briars through here. Or snakes. Is it an airbag truck? Nope. Looks like it's an old leaf sprung truck. There's a battery box. They said it was laid over on its side, but I don't really see any like major damage. I guess the hood's kind of messed up right there where I laid it against the tree, but it was already kind of tore up. Huh. Mm. There we go. Got the Corvette dash. She's a sweetheart. Dang. No key though. That's all right. We don't need a key to start a big cam Cummins. I don't know if it's got any diesel in it though, because that's off. That means someone's probably been draining the fuel out of it, which ain't good, because I don't think we have any diesel with us. So while I was out, I made a phone call. Ryan pulled the tree off of here for me. Thank you, sir. And got our batteries put in place. 
All right, now I gotta find out which is positive, which is negative. There are a lot of battery cables right here. A lot. At least they're all like, they actually have good ends on them too, you know, like they're still in halfway decent shape. So we're gonna use this right here as our excitement exciter. And we'll find out which one is hot and which one's, which one's positive, which one's negative with this base. Oh, I see a red cable. That's a good sign. That should actually help us out pretty good. That way, put that right there. That right there. Hey, let's see if we've got some power somewhere. Um, take my gator clip here. Hmm. I think that's hot, maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? A. Aren't we A? I guess so. A. Let's see if we got some power up here at a starter area. Uh, we want to put power to our fuel solenoid over here. Man, the bugs out here are terrible. Really freaking bad. <clears throat> All right, before we do that, let's go get the um, test light and we'll start there. Well, it looks like we got power pretty much everywhere up here, which is good. Okay. So now we need to check power up at the starter because that's working and we can hook our big. So this right here is like a battery jump box, right? It's got just a plain old battery in it. Once you hook power to it, the power is there. But these activate off of seeing power. So this is going to make it see power and then we're going to make it give power and we're going to give life to this old bird because it's been sitting a little while. So let's find a good ground, which there, there should work. It looks like it's got a little bit of oil on it. Not rusted. Let's check power at our starter. It's going to be really hard to get down in here to it. I find the right one also. Oh, there we go, right there. All right, we got 12 volts at our starter, which is good. So let's power up our silk. If Ryan will quit sneezing, we're trying to film Ryan. I'm gonna put power to our fuel solenoid so it should click. Come around here, Ryan. Get in here to it. Hopefully I don't touch anything I don't I shouldn't touch. Gotta to be really careful. No, wait. <laughs> oh, spider web. Spider Man gonna get me. In theory, by us. Oh, hear it? Got power there. And we've got fuel in our fuel tanks. I don't see a fuel primer on this bird here. Um, this truck is actually in not bad shape. I mean, it's in bad shape, don't get me wrong, but like engine wise, all that stuff's really not too bad. We'll also make sure she spins over a little bit and then it is a little low on oil. I do have two and a half gallons of oil with us right here. We'll uh, pour that in there and top it off. Um, next thing we need is my clicker. All right, we'll hook this to a hot on the battery and then the other one's gonna go to the starter solenoid. So I guess in theory, we can run this thing back here to the starter or to the battery. Find the right one on the starter here. All right, I think I got it hooked up. Let's see if she bumps over or not. Oh. <laughs> not doing nothing. Hmm. Unless that's the wrong one. Or I just hooked it to the ground, that's why. I'm a dummy. Let's hook it to the hot. Maybe I'll do something now. Yeah. I'm just gonna see if it's not locked up, Frank. 
And then I've got oil with me. Ready? Still nothing. This ain't good. This ain't good. Unless I'm hitting the wrong post over here. This is very possible. Okay, this ain't putting power. That's the problem. So let's find out why. Try it again. Still nothing. Hmm, it's that button for me. That button right there? Yeah, the one I was just pressing. Ready? Yep. Hold on, stop. Press it. Hold it. Let off. Press it. All right. Let off. Okay, so we may not just have a bad ground, I guess, somewhere. So I can hook one of these little jump boxes directly to the starter. I think it's got a bad starter, Frank. Oh, oh, something did something. Hit it, hit again. Keep working it, Ryan. Fast. Oh, hold, 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 hold it, hold it. Well, it definitely has a bad starter. That's all right. It spins over. So let's put some oil in it. Were you filming? Yeah. You were. All right. So let's put some oil in it now. And we know how to make it spin over. It's not happy about it, but we're gonna make it happen. Frank might have a new yard dog. You got a funnel laying around here? Um, it takes skill. Skill, boy, skill. She was ready to burn, wasn't she? Turning and burning. We're gonna make this thing happen. I tell you, my fingers do magic. Were you holding the pre the starter button down, or did you stop? I was, I, was, I was holding it when it went. Oh, but did you stop when I told you to stop? Yeah. And it just kept going. Okay. So we got Mr. Frank in there. Go ahead and hit the button, Frank, see if it does anything. That's okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me hook the jump box back there on the batteries so I can get to it easier. All right. Right there. That one right there. All right, let's see what happens, I guess. Hey, wait a second. For it turn green. All right, pulse in. Hit, hit it. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like it's got a broke crank or something. Go ahead and hit it. Yeah, well, I mean, you want to see if it'll start still or what? Yeah, if it's clacking, you can't hurt it now. No, go ahead and hit the starter button. Right. Ready? Yep. Right. Nothing. Hold it down. Got it? Go ahead. That ain't good. You holding it down? No. Yeah, hold it down the whole time. Oh, okay. You're doing it there. All right. Yep. It's gonna do what I tell it to this time. <laughs> All right, hitting the button. Hit the button. Good. All right, that's good. All right, hold that thought. Oop, nope, it's getting hot. <laughs> All right. 
Hold on. So now it's mad. You hitting the button, Frank? No. All right, hang on. Let me check on our starter solenoid right here. Hey, it's not sparking no more. Hold it, don't do nothing yet. Did you Did you do that? Yeah, I did. Just All right, yeah, hold on just a second. All right, don't, just give it all it's got, go. Hit it. Come on, baby, let's go! Come on. Did you let off? No, it quit. Yeah, the starter's just getting mad. Where's it flapping? It's a fan somewhere in the fan. Oh, okay. I think the fan hub's just loose. Um, tap her again. Do you have any start? You don't have any starting fluid. No, I do not. I can't, it's, uh, can't keep it right. Yeah, <laughs> dumb question, right? And there's no way to prime these big cams, is there? You just there is, too. where's the primer at? You want me to show you? They have a primer on them. You know the trick. Let me show you. Slide in. You know the trick about turning this knob. You turn this yeah, knob to, all the way in. Yeah, just to let that it. That turns it on. You take this screw right here. Yeah. And on any Cummins, on these 855. Yeah. You pull that plug out right there. Fill it full of fuel and it's primed. That's the only way you can do it on a Cummins. Well, we'll try to spin it over one more time, I guess. I got brake clean here, but I don't think it's going to fire on brake clean. No, I don't, I don't know that it will. I, I can't answer that. I'm going to funnel it down its throat hole somewhere. Uh, you just tell me what to do. All right. Well, we'll see if it's going to stick again. All right. It's not sticking no more, okay. so hang on. Right. Just give it all it's freaking got until it does what it's doing. All right, you ready, Ryan? Go for it, green light. Hold the throttle down. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, hold it for a second. We need to find a way to prime it and I think it'll start. That goes to the pump. To the intake, yeah, I know, but I'm just oh, looking for a spot to try to. Well. Some, um, spray some juice in it. Some, it should do something on brake clean. So we're gonna pull this plug out right here. It looks like it's some kind of a pressure test port. Spray some brake clean down in there because that's what we've got. I didn't, don't have any starting fluid with me. Dummy me. And we'll see if it'll hit on something maybe. Hmm. Crossing our fingers. Them jump boxes are on kill mode too, boy. <laughs> They're getting her done. This stuff is very flammable, but I don't know why. I don't know why we don't have any starting fluid. It's a dang shame. Climb up in your chariot. Right. <laughs> All right, that's there. Hang on till I say go. Yeah, that's what Let that turn green. Let me go over here, prime it full of brake clean. Hold the throttle down all the way. Hold her down. Oh, hang on a second. We still got, yeah, still turn the fuel on. Oop, wrong one. All right, hit it. Oop, hold on, I timed out. That's getting mad again, bitch. We're gonna have to tap it again. Cut, go for it. Did you let off? Yeah. Oh, well, go ahead and hit it again. He's trying. He's trying. Come on. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. I think if we go get starting fluid, it'll start. That's a lot more than 24 volts. Is it really? Well, not, it's just a lot of amps. Yeah, that's what it means, yeah. Hold on. 
Yeah, it was hitting. You didn't hear it hitting? Yeah, oh yeah, it sounded like it. Yeah, our thing just got pissed off again. All right, we should probably let our stuff smell it burning. It's burning. That's the brake clean burning. One more time, if it don't go, then we'll go get some starting fluid. All right, hold it, hold on. Go. Come on, baby, let's go. There we go, come on. <laughs> Did you let off? Okay, no. Yeah, the jump box just timed out. All right, well, we'll just go get some starting fluid. Can you see about getting that thing out the top of the pump? The, the Allen the, screw? Yeah. We'll prime it. All right. We'll let this thing cool off. This jump box is mad. Got the stuff we need. So made it back, and Frank got the plug pulled off the injection pump right here, and you can see there's no fuel in it, I don't think, because we'll take our test light here. Yeah, there's no fuel in it. So what we'll do... Ooh, we we'll have something. We'll siphon some fuel out of the fuel tank here and we'll get it filled up. The problem is our hose has got a bend in it. it smells like some old diesel. It would be, be good old diesel. <laughs> High sulfur fuel. What is it? High in sulfur. Yeah, exactly. All right, that might be a little straighter. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Come on. Walk out of the truck, grab a cup, and look what was in the door of it. We drove all the way to town for starting fluid. Had some with us the whole time. That's a load of crap. that coke out of there there we go come on baby fill up that's some ugly looking diesel there <laughs> you want to try it yeah. probably tastes good <laughs> all right let's fill this pump up I'm over there it is she slapped full that's all there is to it huh <clears throat> well we'll keep that cup of fuel there for just in case snug this plug down that he's got there well let's see if we can burn up an injection pump eh? or a uh, <laughs> jump box all right, you got your foot on the throttle? Full throttle? Yep. All right, when I say go, go. Go. Go ahead. Come on, baby. some throttle. Oh, it's idling. Okay. You got oil pressure? How much you got? 40? It's ticking. That noise is the fan clutch rattling. We'll shut it off so it'll start back up. All right, we're going to kill it. Yeah, it's like a fan clutch or something, right? All right. It's building air pressure. Oh, yeah. 
All right, let's see if it'll start again without starting fluid. <laughs> That's all she needed was to be primed a little bit of Cosby in a can. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Try it again. Oh, hold it, hold it. It's getting mad. Come on, baby. All right, let me give it some juice. All right. Nope. Hold it. This thing's. Yeah. All right, it should have enough starting fluid in it now to do what we want it to do. All right, go ahead. No. Smoking. It's on fire. Yeah, we need to uh, give the old starter some smacking. Smackin'. Oh. Yep. That's it. Come on. All right. We're going to hook it up all of them to it. Well, that's not good. Ready, Frank? She was rolling too. Dang it. <laughs> All right, uh, hang on. I don't know why it's smoking, but it is. All right, hit it. Yep. So we got it started, obviously. You didn't even know it ran, did you? Uh, I mean, not really. almost all these trucks are run if you give them a little bit of attention, that's for sure, you know. I'm not sure why it was pushing But I think if you were to pull the fuel filter off of it, fill it full of fuel, get it truly primed up, this thing would probably run. And it was starting to build a little bit of air pressure with that tiny bit it was running, so. I don't know. You said the spring hangers broke on the other side? It's folded over, and I don't understand why. They uh, collapsed. Shane said it would it had been rolled. You see right there where the... The fender? Oh, yeah. Okay. But look at this spring. Even like this one's twisted a little bit. See it? How it's twisted? Yeah. So, man, but like you said, it wouldn't make a bad yard dog. Mm -mm. You know? And the interior still is in decent shape. You know, compared to most out here. So, well, there you go. Another success, mildly successful will it start. We'd, maybe the next time we'll have to prime some fuel and bring some fuel cans with us. I'm gonna order that Milwaukee fuel pump thing. Or it's actually a water pump, but people are using it for like everything. So we'll have to use that instead of having to suck start the gas tank here. <laughs> All right, let's gather our tools up, put everything away. <laughs> There you have it guys, that puts an end to this chapter on this wheel that started this 359. I don't know what year it is, but she's old. It says Cross City, Florida, so it must have been a log truck from we'll kind of what we've gathered. But hope you enjoyed another wheel that starts. It's been a little while since we've done one. Um, be sure to check out Lane Finder down in the description below. Give them a shout guys, they can get you going if you're up looking for a job and you have a CDL. So, catch y'all later. Make sure you go to BruceWilsonShop.com, grab your merch. Peace.